And now we wait for the angry Digimon fans. It's okay. We've got time. I'll wait. Let's just let's just wait for the angry Digimon fans to get here. Yeah, it might take them might take them a while. I'm sure that both of them are popping over to tell me how wrong I am and how fantastic the Digimon MMO actually is. It's look, I even if I don't like a franchise, the players deserve better. The players deserve more. If you like Digimon, okay, that's fine. That's your prerogative. You deserve a good game. You deserve a cool game. And you know what really irritates me is Digimon as a franchise has such amazing potential to be a great MMO. The Digimon franchise could be an incredible MMORPG. You've got so many Digimon. You've got the idea of the digital and the real world. You've got anime and manga to draw from. You've got stories. Potential is there. The Digimon franchise is not lacking potential. That's the thing. It's not lacking potential. It's lacking realization. That's what it is. It's lacking the idea that someone needs to actually take it and make a really good MMO out of it. I mean, the RPGs were fine. The Digimon RPGs, Digimon Rumble Arena 2 on the PS2 was great. These classic games were fantastic. Oh, I'm starving in the game, apparently. Josh, am I annoying you? Oh, God, that's going to that's gonna be a thing now, isn't it? People are going to start saying that. Let me just uh, slap some tomatoes down me, and then we can continue playing Skyrim. Right. What's up, Josh? Hard Red Sky, welcome to the stream. You maxed in RuneScape 3. Congratulations, dude. Go and get that amazing cape. That is incredible. Maxing in any of the RuneScapes is such a ridiculous flex. You go and get that badass cape. Please don't slap the tomatoes. They're very sensitive. Zach, I will do what I want. All right? I live the way that I want to live. You can't tell me what I can't do. I'm hoping that everyone really really enjoyed the Spanish that I added into that. You like the spiffy new vest? Oh, thank you. I do get... I've got like seven different vests and they're all slightly different shades of grey, which I think is important. You need slightly different changes around. Now, I hope that everyone enjoyed the, the Spanish. It's... Uh, I was once dating a girl who was Spanish, so that's why I speak such fluent Spanish. Um, just so you all know, I have no idea how accurate my Spanish was at all. I took Spanish lessons in school, and I once dated someone who was born in some part of Spain. But that, that's about it. That's pretty much as far as it goes to. Right, what were we even doing here? What were we... Rufus, what are we doing, mate? You tell me. If you're new to the stream, by the way, welcome. What we're doing is we are adventuring with our son. This is him. Look at him. Look at how much we love him. He can't die, which is both a blessing and a curse. The blessing is he is the world's greatest tank. The curse is he can't die. So I can't get rid of him. I can no longer have my child-free life back, which makes me very sad and very upset. Right, we need to get into here somewhere. What's uh, What are we doing? So we've got... That is... The symbol of the symbol of the pillar on the left. Where's where are we looking? So that's a snake. That's a pillar. Oh, it's the, the temple is warded against us getting in. So I need to work out what the symbols on these things mean. Don't you worry. I've got an idea. Is it modded? Yes, we've got Rufus and we've got these skeletons. I am playing as a necromancer. So I wonder wonder what these pillars could be. I'm trying to get into there, but right, gain entrance to the Skyhaven Temple. Where am I meant to be looking for these pillars? Right, where where physically are they in the game that I'm meant to be copying from? Because I can't really see over there. I can't see if there is anything over there. Spin to win, just spin to win. Yeah, what was the symbol with the arrow? Where am I looking for? Because the symbol with the arrow is... Hang on, if we just go to, go to... It's all the way over there, see? And that's that's where we need to get to. There's got to be a secret way to do... Ask Rufus to solve it. Rufus, where are you, son? Rufus? It didn't help, but it did make me feel better. 
That's the important thing. I don't... I know that it wasn't productive, but I feel good. Should we just spin these pillars around and see what happens eventually? I mean, there's only how many combinations, nine different combinations of things you could possibly have with this. There aren't that many combinations of things we could have gone through. So eventually, in theory, whatever you did, it worked. Oh my god, I am so smart. Oh man, I am... Oh, it was probably on that that I should have looked. 27 different combinations. We got there in time. I told you, I'm a Spanish expert. I'm not a maths expert. 27 is three cubes. Yes. Yes, it is. See, I'm good. Oh, symbols. Symbols. I've seen this bit in Indiana Jones and the Temple of whatever. Rufus, this is how we solve it. Right, you do not step on that switch. That is a bad switch. So that one, probably dangerous. Uh, what about this one? Also dangerous. Alright, so um, what about that one? Oh, that one's safe. Okay, cool. So that one is totally safe. We'll, uh, we'll step on that one. Oh, it's the these ones. Gotcha. The ones that look like the ultramarine symbols. Awesome. So as long as Rufus doesn't step on any of the ones that... Thanks for the hype train. This is why I wanted Rufus to live with his mother. That was overkill, wasn't it? That was genuinely overkill. As long as Rufus doesn't fuck it up. Right, what's the symbols again? I, I literally can't even remember. What did I do? Oh, God, we've got to do it again. Right. I can't remember what these symbols were or how we did it. But now we have to do it all over again. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. Excellent. Right, well, quick save now. We'll go over here. Here's... Here's my plan. Right. Ready? Here we go. Come and join me, son. Here's the plan. Go. <laughs> yeah! Made it across, boy. I should probably pull that thing so it doesn't uh, kill anyone else. Like him. Um, jump to here and then get activate the chain. Oh, we're good. We're safe. We're okay. Rufus, your father did it. He's like a stress ball. That's what he is. Rufus is like a living human stress ball. You know, sometimes it's nice just to shoot something. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. People are like, I guess you do care. I care that he has an advantage. That's what I care about. Have I gone to the Skooma Den near Riften? Not yet. Amazingly, no. Conjure Flame Atronach and Bound Bow. There we go. Right. Rufus, be careful. Be careful, Rufus. Don't. Don't fall, son. It is my eternal curse that I must forever have a child. I will try. I can understand... Look, I'm not saying that I completely agree with Shiogorath, but I'm saying that I understand him. I'm not saying I agree, but I get it. Right? I, I get it. That's the important thing. Looks around to check for witnesses. You've got to check for witnesses before you push your son off a bridge. That's going to get clipped out of context, and someone's going to report it, and I'm going to have to answer to child services. And I'm, when they get here, they're like, Mr. Hayes, you said you have to look around before pushing your son off a bridge. And I'll be like, no, it's fine. He's ginger. And they'll be like, oh, so we understand. Oh, we're on the same page now. Ooh, mix up in communication. Go about your day. That's what they'll say. Okay. 
That is a treasure chest, but I'm going to quick save because this might be dangerous. Dwarven arrow, amber, nice. Gold, lockpick. Scroll of blizzard, nope, don't want to get involved with them. A gold sapphire ring, fantastic. Right, oh, a blood seal. Oh, you require my blood, do you? Okay. You know what? I will happily give you some blood. As long as it doesn't kill me, that's fine. Rufus, could you please get back, mate? This is a very important moment and you are really not involved. Excellent. Ooh, that's a really cool looking door. When I have my massive mansion, I want that door. That's what I want. I love your content, you handsome son of a gun. Oh, thank you very much, Shinigami. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day. Am I planning on reviewing Gloria Victus? It's on the list. What do you think Rufus will be if he grows up? Probably a disappointment. I think that's pretty much guaranteed. Um, a lazy? A failure? That's what it'll likely be. Right, we're going this way, but everyone's in my way because... Oh, God, move! Thank you. The air is warm here. Fantastic, so we're not going to die from being frozen and stuff. It's going to be a sack of potatoes. He's going to be a crypto bro. He's going to live in crypto land. I guarantee that they would... Uh, the people in crypto land would love Rufus. Oh, this is the wall. The wall at the start of the game, remember? Look at this. See, that's Alduin. Right there. We've got the story. Story going on. Of the Alduin breathing the flames. Look at this. Rufus, this is your history right here. Rufus, look at the wall. Look at the wall really closely. It's your history right there, mate. Learn it. Live it. Love it. Maybe that's Rufus's problem. Maybe he doesn't live, laugh, love enough. That's what the issue should be. If only we could live, laugh, and love more. What's, what's like the dude equivalent of live, laugh, love? Would it be like exist, giggle, shit? Or something. I think it would be, wouldn't it? Ooh, is this uh That's like an anvil or a table or something. I'm good. Procrastinating important programmer tasks. That's fine. Rip and tear. Yes. Eat, sleep, gain, repeat. Or I'm going to lift some, some weights later on. I'm going to pick them up and put them down. It's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits. Right. Hey, dude, tell me. So, Alduin did a thing. Esburn, mate. Yeah, how do we kill Alduin? I don't care about this history, mate. You're the you're the nerd. How do we kill Alduin? That's what I need to know. Is his weakness a ginger child? Let's just summon my flame atronach because, you know, it might be useful. Please, is this the no Lost Ark and no Elden Ring safe zone? Yes, it is. I'm not playing Lost Ark. I'm not playing Elden Ring until... Lost Ark hype has died down, and Elden Ring has fixed all of its PC issues. I mean, I want to play Elden Ring, but I want to play it when it's fixed its issues. Thank you very much for all the Prime subs, by the way, guys. That is very much appreciated. I do try and stream three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Sometimes I've got to miss a day or two for personal reasons, but I try as hard as I can to do at least two or three hours worth of streamings. We're also putting all of the Twitch VODs up on YouTube on the Josh Strife Replays channel. And we've got... Oh, by the way, the, the Retro Gaming Review channel, Josh Drive Plays, that's actually... It's actually catching up to the main MMO channel of uh, Josh Drive Hayes. I think within a year, we're probably going to see like a switch in focus from just MMORPG stuff to general kind of retro background gaming stuff, which I'm really excited about. Right, I've not heard of anything about what you're saying, Delphine. What's wrong, Delphine? Tell me the thing. Programmer culture is to procrastinate. It's very true. Don't be Callum at the Elden Ring. Why? What's Callum doing? What's Callum doing with Elden Ring? Do tell. I'm excited to see you play Guild Wars 2. I like Guild Wars 2. Bell Delphine. Yes, that is true. Yeah, what's um what what's what you got against the Greybeards, Delphine? Did they not buy your bathwater? No. Oh, they're scared of my power. My power is dangerous. I'm a dangerous man. Remember that rumour in like the 1990s that if you gained a black belt in a martial art you had to register your fists as lethal weapons? Remember that. I love the idea. 
Like, you'd speak to some kind of judo mask, and he'd be like, oh, no, I'm not allowed to travel across state lines from country to country. I've got to register my, my, my feet and my hands as weapons. You know, legally, I'm always armed. It's, it's not real. It's not real at all. As someone who has multiple black belts and multiple martial arts, no one cares. Like, if, if you walked into a police station, I've got a black belt in martial arts. I need to register as a weapon. No, you don't. No, no one cares. You'd get laughed out. You would honestly just get laughed out. Do you want to know one of my favourite interesting things? My absolute favourite interesting fact of all time. Let me share with you my favourite factoid. Do you know what is actually stopping you, or anyone really, from starting their own martial art and saying that they are the champion of that martial art. Do you know what is stopping you from doing that? Well, you could just, you could create, you know, your name, Foo, and declare yourself Grand Master in it, and that would be, that would be it. Do you know what's stopping you? Literally nothing. You can go and do that. People always thought, and I thought this as well when I was training in martial arts, I thought there would be, like, a... What's out here? This looks interesting. Any kind of treasure we need to get from this room? Anything special? I don't think so. We'll go this way. I honestly thought that there would be some kind of governing body that actually... Oh, this is where we are. That's quite interesting. That's pretty cool. Skyhaven Temple. Skyhaven... What's this way? Skyhaven Temple in here. He's telling me to talk to Angir, but isn't Angir the... Yeah, Angir's the greybeard, isn't he? The Greybeards can teach me this shout. Talk to Angir. So I've got to go all the way to... Oh god, there's a dragon! Don't worry. We've got Rufus. It's fine. Let me just grab my bow. Get all my stuff going. There we go. Yeah, son. Hang on, if you shout Fusrodar, doesn't it knock them out the sky or something? I swear that I remember Fusrodar knocking dragons out the sky. Well, then maybe that's just there's like a dragon land shout. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Go on, Rufus. In you get, mate. Go do your thing. Oh, look at Rufus getting involved. Look at him. Look at all my amazing, amazing, yeah, sweet light armor increased. But no, okay, let me explain. I thought when I was training in martial arts that there was a governing body, like one universal governing body that would regulate all of the martial arts fighters and it would regulate who can teach and who can learn that kind of stuff and then i learned there's no such thing like there is literally no regulation on any of this anyone can just start a martial art it's just a thing you're allowed to do and then you can just teach as long as you've got public liability insurance you can just go and teach it and then you can declare yourself Grand Master of whatever style you want to make up. That's that's a thing. And that, to me, is just insane. Right, and it's going to mark Arth, which is basically dead west of where we are. Right, let's go west. West is that way. See, when, I, when you meet someone and they say, Oh yeah, you know, my friend is the world champion in this. The world champion in something, first of all, depends heavily on what the thing is. And then it depends on what governing body is actually registering champions underneath it and what authority they have. And then it depends how many people actually showed up. Because let's imagine you start a martial art and you call it, you know, whatever you want to call it, and five people turn up to take part in the world championships of skeletons. Move, please. I, I, need, I need you guys to move. I'm just shove you out of the way. Hang on. There we go. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the wall. I'm stuck behind a skeleton's bony crotch. This is not the way I wanted to die. Oh god. I have I really... This is genuinely not the way that I thought my life would end. It's not the worst way to go. But... I didn't expect... Oh, some kind of boat has broken. I bet Rufus did it. Can we shove you out the way again? Yeah! Yeah! Oh god, I'm going to die with skeleton crotch in my face. Have I got to destroy you or something? Have I got to move you? Activate? 
Can I activate you and have you move? Shove, destroy, stay. Can I keep shoving you? Will that keep working? Can I crouch? Now I'm just closer to your legs. I don't like this at all. This is not what I wanted the stream to do. This is, oh god, I'm caught in between a rock and a bony place. Oh, I'm gonna have to destroy you, aren't I? Sorry. Sorry, skeleton. We've got the body parts back at least, so that's fine. We've got the body part. What are you doing, step skeleton? Okay, so let's go back to the, the place. There's, I think we can get out of this. Yeah, here we go. This is good. This is the side bits. Yeah, martial arts. You can just make them up. People have come up to me and gone, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I was actually trained by the world champion in um, Judo Kaido. And I'm thinking, first of all, I've never heard of Judo Kaido. You can just make that up. Anyone can become a world champion at anything immediately. I mean, if Steven Seagal can do it, I'm pretty sure you can. So, if you want to become a world champion in any martial art, you can take the difficult way of actually learning an established martial art with an established governing body and lots of people who do care. Or, easier way, you could just make your own martial art up and declare yourself declare yourself world champion totally allowed thing to do it's not uh, the greatest choice to make but you can do it you're the world champion at ligma <laughs> hang on guys i'm going to say the i'm going to say the line in a minute let's take his left arm the world champion at ligma all right Hang on, let me just... God damn, where is my... Where is my flame thing? You ready for me saying it? Ready for me saying it? Sug my balls. Ha! <laughs> got him. Oh, got him. I'm so good at memeing. Oh, who's Steve Jobs? That's the response to that. They call me the meme meister. Or they would do. They, they would do. Absolutely destroyed. Just, oh man, you got memed. You just got gnomed, mate. That's what you got. Oh, left hand ribcage venison. Let's take all that. All right, nothing in there, it seems, but we're going to keep heading wet. We've basically got to get all the way up the mountain. No, we've got to go to Markarth and then take the, take the cart back to Whiterun. That's the plan. Was that skeleton T-posing? Hey, man, he's allowed to live his life the way he wants. All right, you can't tell the bony boys what to or what not to do. Did you speak Spanish or do you practice those lines? Do I speak Spanish? We. <laughs> oui. I do, actually. Ask me any question, I'll respond in Spanish. Any question. Provided the question is, what is your name? Wasn't that French? Don't question me. Don't. Don't. Uh, in all seriousness, no, I don't speak Spanish. I, I've once... I I basically... I understand enough Spanish. I've seen Pan's Labyrinth, and I watched a couple of episodes of Dora the Explorer. So I think I understand the Spanish culture and heritage and history. I, I wouldn't want to say that I'm fluent, because, you know, there's a couple of words and situations that, of course, evade all of us, but mostly I do... Donde esta la biblioteca? Yes. Yes. That, that That's true. That is true. Diego. Me amo Troy. Me amo Abed. There we go. You're barely fluent in English. That's very true. Can't, what's going on here? You know what? On second thoughts, I really don't care. We have dragons to deal with. Do you guys want to know what my... Do you know any languages except English? I speak the language of love. I do. And the language of sarcasm. Troy and Abbott in the morning. Nights. Right, let's... Let me explain to you one of the greatest insults slash compliments I had given to me a few days ago. And it, it hurt, but it's funny. It was funny. That was the one. Yo, Kibel, mate, I need to hire your carriage and we... Need to go to White Run. That's the place we need to be. All right, cool. Let's do this. Yeah, quick save the game, and then we pop. 
So for those of you who are unaware, I'm very, very excited about this. I am going to be at the Insomnia Gaming Fest in Birmingham in the UK in April. Ooh, hang on, we're just uh, we're very hungry. I venison. I need to eat some food and I need to have some sleep. So we're at White Run. We can go back in. Yes, I will be at the Insomnia Gaming Fest 68 in April in Birmingham in the UK. And they did a big reveal of all the YouTubers and all the Twitch streamers who were going to be there. And it's really cool. I'm super happy with it. You know, they, they put it on their website. They put it on Twitter. You know, all these YouTubers, all these Twitch streamers, they're all going to be there at Insomnia for you to meet and hang out with and ask questions to and play games with and whatnot. And after reading the whole list, there's some decent people there. And there was one comment on Twitch or on Twitter. This dude just put, so I guess no real YouTubers are going. And I thought, fuck. I thought I was, but clearly, clearly not. Clearly I've not done enough yet. <laughs> I guess no real YouTubers are going. In the future when people are like, so Josh, what's, what's your job? I'd be like, I don't know. I thought it was YouTube and Twitch, but according to one person who once went to Insomnia, I, I'm not worthy. I'm not relevant and or valuable. Maybe if I started making, like, prank channels, if I started doing slime videos, if I started doing all that kind of clickbaity stuff. What is a YouTuber anyway? A miserable little pile of algorithm. That's what it is. How come I ain't a VIP yet? I redeemed 50k straws like two weeks ago. That's a good question, Red Sky. What I'll do is I will put that to the moderators and I will, the council will decide. They'll work it out. Right, I need to buy some food off you, first of all. Give me the food. Uh, boiled cream treat, the bread. Not that bread, that's bad. Yeah, there we go, the good food. That's what we need. Give me that good food. Because I'm playing with the, the hunger mod on, and I need way more. Yeah, 220. That's it. 18 points of hunger now. Oh, this is excellent. We got rid of most of the hunger stuff there. That's good. Now I need to rent a room. Give me a room. You play the new Warhammer 3? Not yet. No. Not yet at all. That's a nice vest. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I'm probably found that in a charity shop somewhere. I found a lot of my stuff in charity shops. Oh, my God. You know what's really cool is I got an email from a company that wanted me to play some... Hang on. Are you... Is she meant to be taking me to my bedroom or something? I thought there was a girl that shows you to, to your bedroom. Where is my... Are you going to show me to my room? Oh, it's upstairs, isn't it? It's upstairs. So here's an interesting thing that happened. Yeah, we'll sleep in the bed for like eight hours. I got an email. Am I going to play Elden Ring? Eventually, yes. Just let it sort itself out on PC first. I got an email from a company, and they said... Hi, Josh. We have a, a job offer for you, but you need to sign a non-disclosure agreement first. And I responded, no, thanks. I don't agree to do things before I know what I'm agreeing to do. I don't agree to look at information before I know what the information is. I'm not signing a non-disclosure agreement for a random undisclosed game. If you have something you want to talk to me about, that's fine. I'm happy to you know, discuss it, but I'm not signing something before I know what it is. And then they responded to me and their response email was fantastic. We are advertising Warhammer Total War 3 and we would like you to be involved in a YouTuber game where a couple of bigger YouTubers play Warhammer Total War against each other and you know you play as the factions and you do an advert and you do this and you do that and uh, we're going to get some people involved put it on your video we'll share it on our socials um would, would you want to play the new warhammer game i thought i didn't sign the nda did you not read my email did you just assume that i signed it and now you've told me everything that you would have told me anyway and then a few minutes after that, I got another email saying, hey, I just want to update. Can you please sign this NDA? And I thought, why? You've, you've literally told me everything you were going to tell me if I'd have signed it, but I haven't signed it. And now you're panicking 
that you've told me all the information that I haven't signed it. Even on the bottom of the thing, why is this land so empty? Where's all the stuff? Well, I thought there was stuff here. Why is... Oh, did I put the grass render distance? I did, didn't I? I reduced the render distance of grass to annoy someone. And now this has happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. The boy took it. Yeah, they wanted me to sign it. And then they sent the NDA. And now they want me to sign it again to cover their own arse for it. But like, I, I don't need to sign it. What would the advantage? And now I'm sharing the info with you. Yeah, the great thing is I can share the info with you because I am in no way bound to not. <laughs> like, if people go, Josh, isn't it dangerous that you're sharing the info? Why? I didn't agree to not share it. I haven't agreed to not tell you. It's already out. It's already fine. That they've got no legal, you know, recourse to come back and say, Josh, you agreed not to do that. No, I didn't. You asked me not to do it. I didn't sign anything, and now you gave me all the information. If anything, this is on you. Yeah, the one who broke the NDA was the one that sent me the email. Oh. You explicitly said you weren't going to agree to it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But, hey, they wanted to keep sending it to me. Where's the big mountain? There's the big mountain. Okay, we're going to run around the big mountain and then climb up and see the grey beards. Yeah, didn't sign anything. Why would you need to sign an NDA for a paid collaboration? I don't know. I've got no idea. I spent a good £1.36 on a heartfelt message. Hang on. Hang on. Right, hang on. I'm not allowing that travesty to happen. Let me... Let me see this message that you sent. Do you live in Brum? No, but I live close to Birmingham. I can get to Birmingham. Lunar Light, let me, let me have a look. Did you send a message before? Have I missed an important message? First Twitch stream. You ever slept in a bed for eight hours in real life? No one has. It's a physically impossible thing to do. I need to know what it is. I need to know what your mess. Imagine getting checked by a bot for saying dumb. Yeah, the bot is quite aggressive with it. It's quite aggressive. Am I going to play the game from the email or not? I will probably play Warhammer Total, Total War 3 in my own free time, but I won't make a video on it because it's not really my demographic. <laughs> the message says, have you signed the NDA? It's the same person just, just running after me, trying to make me find it. Uh, um, what else? I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to feel like you don't feel loved. A heartfelt message for you. Luna, was that the one? Was it the, the highlighting it? With the redeeming the message. Oh, I had a good laugh. I really did. Right, let's uh, let's keep going. What was I attacked? Oh, God, there's wolves. Quick, summon the fire lady. The flame lady. Excellent, my child's also here. It's always good when the child is ready to fight. After you said it was a double for Rob Stark, you can't unsit. I will play lots of games, but I probably won't play them on the channel because the channel is very specifically very specifically for MMORPGs. I get so many emails from companies going, hey, would you like to play our random board game tactical battle game on your channel? And I thought, why would I want to do that? Like, my channel isn't this. This isn't the demographic you want. This isn't the demographic I have. Yeah. Where do I think the new Elder Scrolls will be set? I don't know. They've got High Isle, is it, for the... High Isle was the latest one... What's the fastest way to get to there? Probably north and around to get to Iverstead. Because then from Iverstead, you've got to travel to Hyrothgar, haven't you? So yeah, let's go north, because south and around takes us all the way through the, the snow. We don't want to do that, so we'll go north and around. So we'll go this way and around the mountain that way. That's the best way to do it. Josh confirmed High Rock and Somerset Isles. What was it? Was it, is it High Rock, the latest Elder Scrolls Online expansion? I haven't played it yet. Need a Josh Drive tries. I would, yeah, I'd look into that. Am I going to play Skyrim at some point? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Would you watch reviews of non-MMOs on the YouTube? Well, I hope they would, because my second channel, Josh Drive Plays, is just reviewing... In fact, do you want to know how well the second channel is doing? My first primary channel, Josh Drive Hayes, has 400 and something like... 420,000, 430,000 subs. It's doing really well. 
The second channel, Josh Drive Plays, has over 100,000 subscribers already, and I've got 10 videos out on it. It's ridiculous. So Josh Drive Plays is classic game reviews. So far I've reviewed Castlevania on the PS1, Tomb Raider, the original Command and Conquer, Medal of Honor 1, uh, Pokemon Generation 1 Red and Blue, all that classic old stuff. Uh, the next game that I'll be reviewing on the Josh Drive Plays channel is the original Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PlayStation 1. I believe it was called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone over in, the, in America. Hogs of War is on the list to replay as well. There's so much stuff. Rayman, I recently replayed and finished. We're also going to have Abe's Odyssey, Tenchu, the classic ninja game. That was a video that did really well. In fact, the, the Tomb Raider review is on 600,000 views already. It's insane. You mentioned reviewing Harry Potter on the other channel. Did you ever play the PC version? I did not. No, I think I will probably be playing the PlayStation 1 version of the game in order to review just because of the ease of emulating it. That's going to be part of the, the reason I do the PS1 version. Right, how do we get up this mountain? It's all the way around to Iverstead. Hey, do you want a hand, Mr. Hunter? That's okay, Mr. Hunter. Worry not. I will help you. Oh, who's that? Okay, there's a Spriggan as well. Let's see if I can take down this... This... Oh, brilliant. Got... Oh, nice one. Well done. Got down the Spriggan. Save the Hunter. I like it when random things like that happen in Skyrim. Where am I going? I'm going up that mountain. But I need to get to Iverstead in order to get up the mountain. Have you been recommended Medieval? Oh, it's there, mate. It is there. It's on the list. Look, the list is extensive. I truly believe the second channel Josh Drive plays is going to eclipse the first channel within about two or three years. And the reason I think it's going to do that is nostalgia and classic games that we played as a kid simply has much more broad market appeal than MMORPGs. That's just the truth. There's there's more people who care about classic old games than who care about MMOs. And that's not necessarily a problem. Boom, son. It just means that I need to make all of it. Will I be reviewing San Andreas? See, the problem with reviewing older games that are big, like San Andreas, is the reviews would end up being like three hours long. Make a bricklaying channel, call it Josh Strife Lays. Yeah. There's there's lots of channels in, in making, don't you worry. Don't care about MMOs, I'll watch you. Will retro MMOs be on the main channel? If it's an MMO-based thing, it'll be on the main channel. That's the easiest way to keep it around. Usually take Riften, Iverstead, route seems faster. You know what, it probably is, and I probably should have gone through to Riften, but I've I've pretty much because Riften's there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a straight line instead of doing that. But I've I've pretty much committed now. So I'll keep going this way for the time being. Hentai games when? Hey, what I do off stream is up to me. No, not to you. My Heroes of Might and Magic uh, six and seven. It'll be there. It'll all Oh, I thought that was a uh I thought that was some... Why is that texture there? Is that texture a marking of some side? That doesn't look right. Alright. I'm hoping the textures haven't just like randomly messed up in the game, but if they had, it would be funny and I would still play. That is definitely something I would still do. Oh, Croc. Mate, Croc is on the list. In fact, I believe the latest... Vote because I put all of these games to the vote. The latest vote was Croc or Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and Harry Potter won. Man, Harry Potter got it. Please finish your MMO history series. That is going to be on the back burner until I can redo it in much higher quality. I would like to do interviews with people as well, talking about the game itself and you know, how that game changed and built the landscape around it. What are my thoughts on the whole game begins at end game? I think it sucks. I think it's terrible. I think 
if the game begins at the end game, what you're saying is your game is a tutorial for the gameplay that you'll get to at the end. And if that's the case, you can build a good tutorial within a couple of hours at most. If you require weeks or days to explain something tutorial-wise, make a better tutorial. End game should start at level one. Like, it should just start at the game. End game is the idea of the game has finished. There is no more game. The game has stopped. What you want to do now is... The game should start good, it should stay good, it should get better, and it should still be fun to play. That's the best way to do it. It irritates me that people think there's another way of doing it. It's, there's not. It's, it's foolish to believe there is. How far back will retro games go? As far back as we want them to go. Any game with the genre MMO slapped onto it count for the main channel. Look, I will establish every possible video that I do and I will discuss it in relation to if I think it would be valuable to people. This message is highlighted. It is, Olaf. It definitely is. I will try it. E.T. for the Commodore 64. Harana, I've already done that. And that's not even me joking. I have genuinely got a video on E.T. for the N64. If you look on my main channel, and I think it's searched, I played the the worst video game. I've legitimately already played E.T. I finished E.T., actually. All right, which way are we going for this way? I'm aware there's a blog up there that I probably should have walked across, but I've committed to going down now, so this is where we are. And we're going this way. No, I genuinely have finished E.T. I wanted to see what it was all about, because people kept saying E.T. was terrible, E.T.'s awful. So I thought, it can't be that bad, can it? It can't be that bad. It's so weird listening to your two times voice a moment ago. I see, because you wanted to watch the video in double speed. Well, because of that, I'm going to speak slower to increase the amount of total time and thus the average time you have experienced my content. Yeah, go for it, Skeever Brain. Get that bear, Rufus. Go on, Rufus, kill that bear. Oh, nope, that's not good. Yeah, oh, that was like a cinematic shot that didn't even kill it. Archery increased, leveled up, boom, son. Who is the greatest archer in the land? Rufus, it's your dad. It's me, child. I am the greatest archer in all of Skyrim. Algorithms hate you with this one simple trick. Oh my god, there's a wolf and there's a... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. Maybe I should uh, drink some stuff, because I'm dying. Let's go with Potion of Health, uh, Minor Healing, and Minor Healing. Okay, Rufus, where are you? Father's very disappointed in you. Oh, God damn, that was super close. Potion of Healing, Potion of Draft of Health, run. I died at the exact moment I shouted. As soon as I shouted, I died. That happened. Fus Ro Death. That was the... He just wanted to play. Yeah, Fus Ro Dead. Thank you for the... I'm glad you enjoyed the video on Nos Tail. Nos Tail, like I said, wasn't a terrible game to play. It was just a, an awkward gameplay experience compared to what it could be. It's a shame when you play a game and you can see that there's so much potential there. The potential is there, but it's just not realized. You would make a good cult leader. Is Twitch a cult? That's an interesting question. One of my favorite books is a book called Join Me by Danny Wallace. Join me. 
written by the same dude that did the Yes Man series. There was it was Danny Wallace and there was someone else. But basically what he did was Danny put an advert in the newspaper that just said, join me. And then he didn't exaggerate on this at all. He just said, join me. And he got hundreds of replies from people saying, I will join you. I swear allegiance to you. I will join you. And then he thought, I don't know what all these people are joining. I'm not sure what they want me to do. People just wanted some kind of meaning in their life, so they agreed to join him, even though he had no real plan. And then he decided, effectively, to start a cult. He called it the Karma Army, and his entire idea was every Friday you have to perform one random act of kindness to a stranger. And it's still going, the Karma Army is still out there, but that's what he used his power for. He used his power to bring good into the world. Is Twitch a cult? Just watch your DM over DM. A few things I need to say. Ah, oh, here we go. I played the game years ago. Monetization has not improved. Farm one Digimon for hours. Chance of the egg dropping is low. Each time you feed it data, the odds of data infusion failing would increase. And a failure can cause the egg to be permanently lost. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Digimon seems pay to win. I didn't even play it for that long and it seemed pay to win for me. Yeah, so if, if I can tell something is pay to win relatively quickly, you know it's going to be bad. So is Twitch a cult? Imagine that we all met up at Insomnia or at some kind of gaming convention and we all, you know, chill together, we all hang out together and I said, hey guys, wouldn't it be a great idea if, and then I suggested something dumb. How many people would do it? Parents always say to you, oh, so if all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff as well? Well, that depends how charismatic the friend is. That depends how enticing they make the consequence of jumping off said cliff sound. How do I get to Iverstead? What the frick? Okay, fine. We've got to go over that mountain and around. Th this is I've taken the long route here, haven't I? Okay, can we just climb over this mountain? I've got to find... This path is so dumb. Yeah. I. This path just goes to, like, something on the... You know what? I'm going to go... The, fine. I've committed. We're going to go this way. Around the mountain. Up and around. It's going to be fine. Can you show feet? MR. Yes. Berserk, are you asking if you can see my feet on the camera? Like, do you... Do, do you wish me to put my feet in front of the camera? Why would I do that? Why? Why Why would you want that? Cuz I'm going to be real, I'm not even wearing socks right now. I'm wearing I'm wearing jogging bottoms because it's comfortable. Berserk is like, "Yes." Okay, guys, look, Berserk, he's trying here. God bless him, he's trying. Let's I don't want to say no straight away and just immediately kill his his vision, his idea, but he's trying. God bless him. Just watch your series on other lands. You make amazing content. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. You join us in the most inefficient Skyrim stream. What's going on over here? There's a battle. Who are the good guys? Who are the bad guys? Who am I fighting with? I'm fighting against the Stormcloaks, aren't I? Oh, yeah. You know what? Just, I'll put... There we go. You can have a... Oh, you all died. Okay. What's on him? Ooh, armsman's sword, some gold, a left leg... Yeah, that's good. We'll take that. Right, how do I get up this stupid, around this goddamn mountain? All I need to do is get to there. So I need to be turning kind of right over and around here. Rift Bone Altar. Should we just go east to the Bone Altar and then we can probably get to... Oh god, this is the worst possible thing. Let's go east. Let's go to the Bone Altar. Let's summon a skeleton. Let's go to Riften, and then let's walk from there. This is the worst route I could have possibly taken. Man. Did you ever install that one-handed crossbow? Not yet. Not yet. I don't really have a lot of time to do stuff when I'm not on the stream. Like my, my free time off stream is very, very, very limited. There's the Bone Altar. The Bolter, if you will. Oh, this dude's not happy. 
Right, oh, this bandit's telling me I never should have come here. Here we go. Where's my son? Son? Gonna need you to get yourself involved soon. Help! I hate this game. This game is stupid. This game is utterly, utterly ridiculous. Right, we're back here. You know what? Screw you. We are... I need to get to Iverstead just there. We're going to go southwest. We're going to climb the frickin' mountain, and we're going to get to Iverstead this way. We're going to play Skyrim the way God and Todd Howard, same person, intended. This is how we're playing it from now on. This is the way Skyrim was meant to be played, and this is the way we're going to frickin' play it. All right? No more cheats, no more tricks. There's a bear. Run away. Right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play Skyrim the way Todd Howard intended. We're going to go up here, sneaky, stealthy, carefully. And we're going to kill any bears that we happen to bump into along the way as we get to them. That's what we're going to do. Right, God Howard wanted us to play it this way. Where is the Todd? There is... There's the thing, there's the skeevers. Here's... Yep, here's the archery. Perfect. The bear should be going down in a minute. Brilliant. The bear is dead. Quick save the game. Just noted you were streaming. Left Asmongold stream to put you up on the second monitor. Asmongold best be on the first monitor. Oh, fuck me. That's not a good sign. Right, so the archery's increased. But now we need to get rid of some of these wolves. God damn, these wolves are tougher than I remember. Yeah! Go on, skeleton archer. Don't get in the way, Rufus. Don't get in the way. I can always remake you. Okay, we need to go kind of southwestish. How's Asmongold doing anyway? Is he all good? Did I quit Earth? Yes, I'm focusing exclusively on Earth 3. Asmongold's on another tab. He's a good lad, Asmon. I like him. I think he's a fun, interesting, entertaining personality. People can say negative things, but I like him. All right, one down. Two down. There's so many bloody wolves. Good lord, the amount of wolves up here is ridiculous. Finally, thoughts on the new emojis. I tend not to look at the emojis that have been added to the Discord server because I've realised that when I do, I get really upset and sad. That's the thing. If I look at what you guys are doing to the Discord server, I just... It's... I want to say the word why in many different ways, in many different languages. And I think the best way to handle it is just to let you guys kind of get on with it. Uh, come here, Mr. Fox. Yeah, not so fantastic now, are you? Gotcha. Any game I'm actually looking forward to? No. No, making all these videos has sapped my joy and love for anything, really. What a, what a terrible answer. Josh, what game are you looking forward to? None of them. Nothing. All I hope is that a remake of a game that I played as a child will evoke some kind of primal joy within me. But I doubt it. There we go. In all seriousness, I want to play Elden Ring. I'm looking forward to playing Elden Ring, and I will play Elden Ring at some point when everyone else is not playing Elden Ring. Because I don't want to just be swept up in that wave of, ooh, the next big thing. I mean, how many people were absolutely, you know, begging me to play Lost Ark? Everyone was, play Lost Ark, play Lost Ark, play Lost Ark. And then Lost Ark kind of died down for a bit. It's not done badly, but it has died down, the interest, and now everyone is just kind of chilling with it. It will be the same with Elden Ring. Everyone will say, Ooh, I'm not going to buy Elden Ring until I've heard Josh's opinion on it. Here's my opinion. Buy the game. Make your own opinion up. If you don't like it, refund it. It's not hard. It's not a super complex you know, concept to grab. Get the game. If do not like game, get money back from game. It's the way we've been doing it for many, many years. And we'll hopefully continue to do so. But it's 50 quid. 
Refund only works in the first two hours. Only if you buy it on Steam. I'm pretty sure if you buy it on, like, PlayStation or Xbox, actual physical copy, you can get your money back if you take the disc back. That works, doesn't it, still? I'm sure you can do that. So many people care about the opinions of reviewers. A reviewer can say a game is terrible, but it's still fun for you. A, rev a game could be awful. A game could be really bad. I could hate every aspect of it, but you could still buy it. You could still enjoy it. Cannot watch any streamer playing Lost Art. The atmosphere is terrible. I just... It's, a, it's the flavour of the month, isn't it? It's the flavour of the month, man. If a new game comes out, every streamer jumps on it, everyone plays it, everyone watches, and then when that game changes, everyone leaves. The danger with being a flavour of the month streamer is if people are only there to watch you play Vazbe, if people are only there to watch you play very specific new games, the moment that game is no longer new, they expect you to play another game. But what happens if you actually enjoyed that game? What happens if a streamer actually enjoys the experience they're having, but the audience demands they play the new thing? Well, why do you think I play... Why do you think I'm playing Skyrim? I could be playing Lost Ark, I could be playing Elden Ring, I could be playing anything else. Why have I gone with Skyrim? Okay, Valmir in. Let's pop into here. Grab ourselves a nice... Uh, because you demand it. Yeah, some streamers are probably still stuck playing Fall Guys, probably still stuck playing Among Us. God, that was a strange... That was a strange uh, part of Twitch, wasn't it? With um, Among Us. Everyone being big with Among Us. God, let's play Among Us. Oh, the... What? The bear has come to join us, and the tavern is like, Get out, bear! Get out of our tavern, bear. You don't belong here. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, Skyrim, it just works. How often do you think these guys get attacked by bears for that to become their immediate response? There was no hesitation. Just straight there, just boom. Just got here through the Josh Strife Says channel. Are you in any way related to it? Or is it free publicity? I mean, yeah, the, the guy that makes the clips for the Josh Strife Says channel is Visa. And Visa has got full permission to do so and to keep making making clips. I like the way he works. I like the way he does it. Skyrim is legitimately fun. That is true. I actually enjoy the game. Right, who's the who's the bartender? Was it you? You look a bit bartendery. What you got for sale, mate? Show me your food. Apple pie is good. Oh, yep, that's good. Show me your your hunger restoring food. Right now, I want to rent a room. Fantastic, we've got a room. Is this the bed? This is the bed. Let's sleep here. Get ourselves some stuff going on. Thank you, Rums the Prime sir. Welcome to the stream. We'll keep binging it without guilt. Yeah, man. If you enjoy the Josh Drive Sayers Clip channel, I just hope that you find some stuff to laugh at because it's funny. It's funny. It's silly. I have a good time with it. We'll go with health for this one. I feel that I should probably level up my archery at some point, because I'm using a lot of archery, aren't I? 50% more bows. Wing strike. Bashing with a bow. Nah, I'm never doing that. Long shot. Interesting. 20% more damage. Pressing block while aiming in will zoom in your view. Interesting. Zoom in the view. What about... Ooh, I am using a lot of lock picking. Weaker locks are easier to pick. Yeah, let's have a look at some Game of Fate. There are five dragons of fate hidden in random locked containers in Skyrim. Each grants 15,000 gold and a free perk point when removed from its container. The name of the container changes to indicate the treasure inside. Five dragons of fate hidden in random locked containers in Skyrim. Okay. Interesting. We could we could see if it's any good. Might be good, might be bad. I wonder if we get like the, the game of fate as a quest. I bet we don't. It'd be so cool if you had that as an actual quest. You had to find them down. What happened to not being a stealth archer? I'm not a stealth archer. I'm a very obvious archer. 
and right to eat an apple pie. Bit of the cooked catfish. Save the game and off we go. Rufus, move out the way. Rufus. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. I'm going to get him a treat at some point. There he is. Yes, I'm not a stealth archer. I'm an obvious archer. It's the, the best type of archer. Right, where are we go we're going? Up the mountain, aren't we? That's the way we're going. Up the mountain we go. I think we need to be... Where do we go across the mountain? Is it that way? Yeah, it's that way, isn't it? I thought there was a bridge here. Am I forgetting the layout of Iverstead? I'm sure there was a bridge that takes you... There's the there's the thing. Oh, hang on. Let's just get my let's get my flame match and I can bound bow back on. You know what I need to do is take some of these magic spells off that I don't use anymore. Favorites. I don't use bound battle axe. I don't use bound sword. I don't use flames as much. I'll keep it on this in case. Fury I've never used. Lightning rune. Raise zombie. No soul trap. I cast with weapons. Yeah, that's good. This is what I need now. This is good. That's the wrong bridge. The bridge is the other way. I know. I know. I was seeing if you'd know. Everything I do is to check if you're paying attention. And you were. Well done. Congratulations. You have passed the test. Baby, your video about NFTs helped me during my uni profession. You are welcome. I'm glad that your uni presentation was all about why NFTs suck and are bad. And anyone trying to sell them to you is trying to make money off you. Game volume 300% more. You know what? How's that? If I just summon this now. There we go. I can hear the game. Anyone selling anything is trying to make money off people. Yes, that's true. However, sometimes when you sell someone something, the product they get, they are aware of and they understand and it's valuable to them. If you sell someone a product, the idea is that you are giving what that person needs to them and there is an understanded exchange of value. If someone you know, subscribes to this channel, they know what they're going to get. They know they're going to get continued videos and continued streams. That's understood, and it's proven, because it happens all the time. If you buy an NFT off someone, what is it that you're getting? Do you understand it? Do they understand it? What if I die, though? If I die and you don't believe that you have got your money's worth for YouTube or Twitch, you can take me to court, but only after I'm dead. I give permission. That's fine. You can do that. If you, if you are, if you wake up one day and you go on, on Twitter or you go on Instagram or you go on Discord and it's like there's a, on the highlighted, you know, top of the newsreel, it says worldwide, global, loved and beloved Twitch streamer Josh Strife Hayes has tragically died today as he was fighting a ninja in an attempt to save children from a burning orphanage. If you read that and you think, I just subscribed with Twitch Prime. That's bullshit. Now I'm not going to get my Twitch Prime subscription worth. You have my explicit permission to take me to court and to demand, to demand that I provide you with an equivalent and equal amount of entertainment. There we go. Josh Raffae is the not a real YouTuber died. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt. When will you start training a successor? See, here's what I'm doing, guys. You're actually all of my successors. All of you. Every single one of you has me in you. And you might think that sounds wrong, but just bear with me, because it's going to get worse. I like to think that I've won the hearts and minds of everyone who's a... I need an adult. <laughs> I've won the hearts and minds of everyone who's watched this stream. I've, I've, I've touched you all in many, 
many ways. And I hope that as our friendship, our companionship, only grows deeper. I'm trying so hard to keep a straight face right now, guys. Don't ruin it. Don't you be typing. I'm trying. All right. Calling upon my training. As our friendship grows deeper and more serious, and you know, my, my life eventually one day comes to an end, I need you all to pick up the mantle of playing bad MMOs. You know that scene in V for Vendetta when everyone appears wearing the masks and suddenly the government realise there's way too many people to, to actually stop? I want that to happen, but with shit game reviews. That's what I need. I need. Once I'm gone, I want all of you to play the worst possible games you can find and make the most sarcastic videos. You are many, for you are legion. That's what it is. On that day, you will all be salty Englishmen, as you say. A legacy of shitposts. That's what I want my legacy to be. I can't believe these greybeards live on the top of a frickin' mountain. Like, how do you even get food up here? Oh, God, can you imagine ordering Uber Eats living on the top of the mountain? You best leave, like, a 20% tip for whoever you end up sending. And you best order, like, at least £200 worth of food. Because otherwise, it is not worth it. Can you imagine... Can you imagine being the guy that has to deliver these foods? God, you'd be annoying. The guy delivers supplies like once a week. He best get paid very, very well for that. Oh, God, there's the troll. Go, skeevers. Go, son. In you... Go on, son. Oh, he, he didn't even get foost. Oh, we are taking out the troll now. Look at this. Oh, we got this. This is the perfect level of difficulty. Skeevers, a child, a summoned Dramora. This is excellent. Oh, right in the heart. You know what? Skyrim can be very cinematic sometimes. Shoot his body with that ethereal arrow. Rufus, how dare you dodge my arrows. The ragdoll physics on Rufus are fantastic. I'll give it that. Very good. Very, very good stuff. Okay, everyone stop having fun. We need to finish Skyrim now. It's not about enjoying anymore. It's no longer about fun. It's purely about finishing the game. Satisfying Father Simulator. Yes, eat the Elder Dragon. That's what I'm planning on doing right now. You did. F we were having fun? Uh, apparently. Apparently. So what's everyone up to this week? You guys get going on. What's next? Arena. No, I'm going to play the fun game. I think I might... Because you all know that I don't like playing the flavour of the week games. Or the flavour of the month. I like waiting a bit until a game has had a chance to establish itself. Have a couple of mods. And then play it after. So I'm not caught up on the hype train. So I think what I need to play next is probably Among Us. I've heard that Amogus is good. Do you remember when, was it Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, the politician, she started playing Amogus? What is it with politicians thinking, I'm hip, I'm happening, I'm down with the kids, I'm going to play those videographic games that the children play, and they'll see that politicians are cool. Does, does no one realise that it's just cringy? No one is watching politicians play video games then thinking, oh, they get me. They get me. They're, I'm Yeah, I'm going to vote for them. Like, she's younger than me. She is super popular and younger than me. It's ridiculous. No one younger than me should be in politics. I've got no clue what I'm doing. The most honest politician would admit to you they haven't got a fucking clue what's going on. Gen X trash Gen Z politician. Look, back in my day, all the politicians were honest. All of them. Every single one. None of them tricked anyone. None of them spent any money on anything that was wrong. None of them 
in any there was no scandal the word scandal was actually invented in 2015 to describe what young people were doing that's what it was hey dude how's it going man Aaron gear I need to kill a dragon yeah I need to learn the shout to kill Alduin uh, it's on Alduin's wall now the blades are unhappy with this That sounds like politicians describing politicians. Can you do a Canadian accent? No. I'm sorry, I can't. I really can't. Mate, look, the Blades are helping me. The Blades just want to defeat Alduin, don't you? Whoa, you guys are like, hey, maybe Alduin should come back. You won't help me. Not until I return to the Path of Wisdom. Ooh, there's another big shout. Oh, listen, they're summoning Parthenax. The average TikTok would be a scandal back in the day. Alduin did nothing wrong, is that what happened? Right, can you teach me? It's Dragon Rend, but the words of power don't know it. Right, where do I defeat Alduin? Oh, Parthenax. Okay, let's go chat to Parthenax then, shall we? I need to speak to him. Right. Let's, uh... Hey, should I, how do I get to the top of the mountain? Come on, mate. We will teach you a shout to open the way. The Parthenax key. Love the fact that I can count on Josh for some 100% true facts about life before the Big Bang... Life before the Big Bang was very interesting. What would you like to... Everyone was honest. Everyone was genuine. Everyone was decent. Um, Freddo's cost 10p. You know, no matter how much life changes, no matter how serious things get, that's what annoys me. The, the power creep, the cost creep of Freddo's. I'm sure I can remember being in school and Freddo's costing between... Like ten to fifteen p. That was it. You could you could walk into a shop and you could buy a Fredo for ten p. I used to walk into a shop at the end of school. I would walk back. I would buy a pound worth of Fredos. I'd get home with ten Fredos. Next month you'd get home with nine Fredos. Now you get home with four Fredos. In a year's time, you'll actually owe them money just for walking into the shop. It's going to be a quid a pack. What's a Freddo? A Freddo is a small chocolate frog. It sounds weird, but that's what it is, pretty much. Wait. Yes. Was that an Amogus reference? It was. There is something sus going on here. If you don't... If you can't handle me at my sussy backerist, you don't deserve me at my 10p Freddoist. That's a very specific phrase. If that gets clipped out of context, no one is going to know how we got here. Ah, uh, dude. Arangia. Let's go up. <laughs> Someone just, just kill me. Just leave. The Freddo Index. The history. The history of the Freddo. It's a complicated history. How could you clip that in context? You'd need to be here. I, I've been in stream all day and I still don't know how we got here. I've been here the entire time and I still am not sure what made that happen. God. Freddo with caramel or normal? Oh, Freddo's with caramel were the one, weren't they? Freddo's with caramel were the one. What you what you had to do, and I hope that everyone does this with whether it's a bit of galaxy caramel or a, a, a Christmas chocolate with caramel in it. You nibble off one end to create a little tiny bit of kind of an opening, and then you nibble off the other end, and then like a straw. You suck the caramel out. And you need to nibble off both ends in order to create the airflow. Otherwise, you create a vacuum when you're trying to suck the caramel out. It doesn't work and the chocolate just crumbles into your mouth. You need to have the air intake and the outlet. It's science when you are eating it. But tell me I'm not the only person that does this. And I think this might be the, one of the strangest things I've ever said. You know when you have bits that have caramel in them and you nibble off one end and nibble off the other and then you suck the caramel out? Is it just me, or do you feel like 
Remember that scene in The Lion King when they ate the bugs by sucking the bugs out of the shell? Do you feel like some kind of crazy alien sucking the innards out of the chocolate? Or is that just me? Because I genuinely... That's what I feel. I'm sure... So I've never done this before and it sounds gross. Right, no. No. It's people are like, just you. Maybe that was just me. Have you ever ate, have you ever drank a cup of tea by taking a twirl or a Twix or a biscuit and you nibble off one end, you nibble off the other, you put it in and you use it as an impromptu straw? And then once you've sucked a bit of liquid through it, because it's hot liquid, the straw starts to crumble. But what you need to do very quickly is then kind of ram the whole thing into your mouth and eat it really quickly. If you haven't done that, guys, you have not lived. I really do feel sorry for you if you haven't done that. Word of power learned. Sky. Clear skies. Spring. Clear skies. Interesting. Summer. Clear skies. Use the clear skies shout to open the path. Shouts. All right. Clear skies. 4012. Let's, uh, let's unlock. You've got three dragon souls, so let's unlock. Unlock. And unlock. Perfect. And let's equip that. Here we go. Let's try and deal. Excellent. We have cleared the sky and we can go and talk to Daddy Parthenax. Is that the UK equivalent of the Tim Tam straw? Ariange was going to give you his knowledge of the shout. I don't care. We've got it all. We're all good. If the rate of minimum wage was on par with Freddo's, we'd be on £18 an hour. It should be. It should be. They should have put... What was the damn... What just... What, what just hit me? I swear something just hit me. It should be. I think we should base the majority of the economic decisions on the price of Freddo's. Oh, I'm taking damage because it's um, cold. That would be why. I think I'm taking damage because of the cold. We should... I'm not saying that I'm an expert in the economy. I'm not an expert in the economy. But what would be the damage if we based... Oh, God. Everything we do on the price of Freddo's. What would the, da what would the damage actually be? Can anyone tell me? I don't think it would change that much. Fantastic. Good job, Rufus. Oh, no. Rufus, are you okay? Rufus, what's happening? Oh, no! Oh, Rufus, no one could have seen this coming. Okay, on we go. Let's travel forward. Have you ever... Are you playing Elden Ring? I mean, like, not literally right now. No, I'm not playing Elden Ring this very moment. I'm playing Skyrim right now. Will I play Elden Ring in the future? Absolutely. I'm just going to give it a while for... I kind of thought that I could play Elden Ring, but surely you'd rather see me finish Skyrim first. Would you rather I finish Skyrim first? Or would you rather I just stop playing Skyrim and go straight to Elden Ring? Oh, my skeever just got yeeted off the edge. I'm going to finish Skyrim first. I think I'm going to finish Skyrim, and then when Skyrim's done through and sorted and seen, then we'll look into Elden Ring. God damn, this is a... This is a dodgy little ice wraith here, isn't it? Yep, there we go. I didn't do anything with that. We're going to finish Skyrim. We're not here for the game, we're here for the content. I appreciate that. Oh my god, does that... Hang on. Does that mean when we play Elden Ring, is that Twitch chat the fourth? Is that going to be Rufus's son? I think we need to continue this. When I finish Skyrim and we get into Elden Ring, it will be Twitch Chat the Fourth. It will be Rufus's lineage. Will Elden Ring? Ru it will be Elden Ring Rufus. That's what it'll be. Elden Rufus. Elden Rufus. Rufus the Second. And so it begins. Let's speed run the rest of Skyrim. 
Let's finish all of Skyrim really quickly. And then let's start Elden Ring with Rufus. That's what we should do. Will I ever try Monster Hunter? I will do. I will do eventually. The face editor is quite powerful. You're going to have to make Rufus. Oh, we're going to make Rufus, don't you worry. We're going to make some dumb, stupid... Hang on. Oh, oh! I never saw it coming. Imagine being that goat. Imagine. Don't put unhappy faces in the chat. Don't you sit there pretending that you're mad. You would have done the same. Monkey sees goat neuron activation. Absolutely. Right, clear skies. We've got to wait for the clear skies and shout through. Now yeet Rufus. Oh, sorry, Skeleton Mage. Oh. Oh, fuck. Um, right. Hang on. Oh, we're, we're good. We're good. It's okay. I thought Rufus got revenge on me then. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, it's fine. Karma. That was definitely karma. Very, very true. We got it. Yeah. Oh, we've shouted, and something's got angry at me. Let's go chat to Parthenax. Parthenax meditating, and he looks down and just sees me yeeting a goat off a mountain, and then getting super angry at a random child. Right, who is this? Oh. I see. Hey, how's it, how's it going? What brings you to my Strumach, my mountain? I need to, yeah, I think you know, I think, mate, do you know who I am? Yes, Vazak, you, it has been long since I held Tinvar. It's been a while since he chatted. Parthenax has the same voice actor as Nintendo Super Mario. It's a me, Parthenax. I really wish he did that. I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout, something that could kill you. Could you tell me? Does Rufus have any backstory? A regrettable knight with far too much skooma and the lusty Argonian maid. Right, do the shout. Right, let's learn the word of power from the wall that you just put there. There we go. Let's absorb this. Learn fire breath. Fantastic. Rufus himself is Twitch Chat the Fourth. It might need to be. Oh God, he fell over nothing. It might need to be Rufus himself, who is Twitch Chat the Fourth. Test your thuam against mine. Use Fire Breath Shout on Parthenax. Okay. Magic Shouts Fire Breath. There we go. Lovely. Lovely stuff. I think in stream lore you said that the Lost Argonian May wasn't his mother. Look, I don't. I try and not think about Rufus as often as possible. Rufus is like the game. You know when you think about the game, you lose the game? Rufus is like that, but for joy. You think about Rufus, and the day gets a little bit worse. Right, mate, I need to know Dragon Rend. Come on. I see. The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Yes, they are protective. Are you going to teach me the thing? 
I need to stop. I'll do it. I like this world. I don't want it to end. Yeah, I don't want the world to end, mate. That's a good, a good reason, isn't it? The next world will have to take care of itself. I don't want to debate you, Parthenax. I want to kill Alduin. Never thought about it. Oh, I see. Using the Dragon Ren shout. So, Alduin has happened before, but they use an Elder Scroll. The ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time. Interesting. He is stalling for time. I would kill you. Right. Where do I get this Elder Scroll? Can I buy the NFT? Right, where do I find the Elder Scrolls, mate? Esben or Oriarja might have some idea. Okay, cool. What does Dragon Rend do? It does things. Right, talk to Esbern or talk to Arngear. I'm going to chat to Esbern, because Esbern seems like a chill guy. Right, Esbern. He is... He's just down there, pretty much. Who do we talk to? Esbern or Arngear? Don't give Bethesda ideas. Oh, can you imagine? Didn't... And a, no, hello. Didn't... And again, I might be misremembering this, but correct me if I'm wrong... Remember those really dumb NFT bros? And I know that doesn't narrow it down, so I'm going to try and narrow it down slightly. Remember those NFT bros that bought the Dune book and they thought it gave them the official copyright of Dune? Remember? They bought the book. It's a rare... It wasn't exactly a one-of-a-kind, but it was a super rare manuscript of the, the Dune book. And they said they were going to start making films of it and selling rights and NFTs and stuff. Well, from what I read, and I'm not sure exactly how true this is, they've actually suggested scanning all of the individual pages, counting those pages as NFTs, and then just destroying the rest of the book. That didn't work very well. Is that... Is that something they're still looking into doing? So that way their investment would actually be worth something, because what they'd be doing is they'd be creating artificial scarcity. Oh yeah, ethereal form, that would work, wouldn't it? If I just stick on the ethereal form, shout. Become ethereal. Let's do this instead. Do I still play Warframe? I don't have time. I literally do not have time to play any other games. I mean, the la I can't remember the last time I played a game for fun, if you will. When I am playing on stream right now, I'm focusing mainly on interacting, which is fine for me. I enjoy doing that. When I am playing offline to create videos, I'm finding bad games. Or I'm playing all PlayStation 1 games. I spend most of my time trying to... Where are we going for this dude? Where is this guy? See in here, optional talk to Esbren. Esbren seems chill. We'll go and chat to Esbren. Yeah, I spend most of my time trying to create the content for stuff. It's really strange, but if if you make your living through playing video games, then when you play a video game and you aren't recording it, you aren't writing anything with it, you aren't actually you know, capturing the footage, you feel like you're wasting time. I feel guilty. And if you want to get into Twitch streaming or any kind of stuff like that, you'll feel the same. If you play a game without recording the footage, you feel like you're working, but you are wasting time. That's what it feels like. It's horrible. But that's what it feels like. People are like, oh, stop it. You're allowed to have fun. Okay, cool. If I do that, I can only put out one video a week. And I can't do that. I've got to put out more than one video a week. I've got to put out at least two videos a week. This is the... Oh, I see. Esbrin is all the way over there. Oh, the Blades. Right, we chat to the Blades. Or we chat to... You know what? I'm going to chat to the High Rothgar dude just because he's closer. 
I'm sorry. I, I believe in the Blades more, but the Rothgar guy is right here. The Dune book thing, it's worse than that. They bought a copy of a failed movie pitch book. All the pages exist online, and there are several copies in circulation. You have no downtime. Gwen, when I have my downtime, it's not to play video games. That's what it is. If I have my downtime, I'm going to do stuff that isn't video games. I want to go to the gym. I want to play Magic the Gathering. I want to play Dungeons and Dragons with some friends. I want to do stuff that isn't video games. Like, imagine if, imagine if you were a programmer. On your downtime, would you sit and work on your work program stuff? I well, know you'd probably try and do some some fun, silly, your own personal program stuff. So, for me, when I get Elden Ring, it's going to be a work thing to play it. That's what it's going to be. I will play Elden Ring as a work thing. I'm so tempted to shout you off this. Like, if I quick save. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Hey, how's it going? I was, I was hoping to shout him off. Any tips for new DMs? Yeah, don't kill the players. That's pretty much it. Why is the little kid staring at you? He just do that. He just do that sometimes. Is it normal that British people pronounce the G at the end of the words like... Like a K? I mean, depends... Depends what word it is. Nice vest. Thank you. Thank you, Yezel. Right now I'm doing the green screen thing where it can't quite pick up the chroma key of the green. What's your policy on taking vacations? Kind of weird being self-employed. Uh, if I take vacations, I lose money. That's how it goes. It's horrible, but it's true. The reality, it's not like the constant hustle grind mindset, because that is very, very, very you know, toxic. But you do need to be aware that if your job is to entertain people, when you take time off from your job, if you were to do the same things, you would be thinking, am I wasting time here? Imagine you had a holiday from your job, but you still went into the office and you still sat at your desk and you still just, you read a book, but you were still there physically. It's strange, isn't it? It's really strange. Do I do D&D streams? I don't, but I will be hosting a one-shot D&D adventure at Insomnia. So if anyone is at there, I will uh, will be running that. Hey, where are you going, dude? Look. Nope, he told me how to find out. I need an Elder Scroll. Right, where do I find the Elder Scroll? Oh, the College of Winterhold. Right, I mean, I can do, but uh, I'm... I'm the, the... I... Go to the College of Winterhold. There, the Archmage will know what to do. Mate, I am the Archmage. I I literally am in charge of Winterhold. It's me. I'm gonna try put, I'm trying to put a, a marker just there. It will not allow me to. There we go. Move it just there. I'm in charge of this. Not saying anything about the June book. I'm trying to read everything, Red Sky. There's a lot of stuff going on. I would happily what do a D and D stream if I could. Can we just hang on? Hang on. Yeah! Awesome stuff. Right. Which way are we going? We're going kind of northwestish. This way is Winterhold. I love the fact that I can jump off the mountains, provided I am ethereal. This is fantastic. Yeah, boy! Oh, that's fantastic. That is going to save me so much travel time. Oh, this is excellent. Would I do D&D with Asmongold? Of course. I know that he does his one-shot D&D adventures. I would more than more than happily DM a game for him and his friends at some point, if they wanted me to. It's up to them. Have I considered moving to another location like a vacation, but still stream and make content? I don't need to do that. I am comfortable putting out the amount of content that I put out. I enjoy... I very much enjoy creating YouTube videos and Twitch streaming and making content. To me, that's fun. It's enjoyable. It's relaxing. It's hard work. This is a big pet peeve of mine, and I think this is important to talk about. When people hear the word relaxing, what I think a lot of people hear is without effort. In order to relax, you must do something 
effortless. You must do something easy. That's not how I see it at all. This is going to be very strange, but for me, relaxing doesn't necessarily mean without effort. It means something that I will feel achievement from doing. So I could relax by going rock climbing. I could relax by working out at the gym. I could relax by playing Magic the Gathering, which is very mentally intensive. I could relax by making a cosplay, which is you know, very demanding. I could relax by being in a theatre show. All these things take a, a great deal of effort. But I find that the effort that I put into doing those things ends up fulfilling me. And that's what is interesting. When people say, oh, relax, sit around, do nothing, I actually find that very boring. If you want to do that, that's fine. You do you. But I find the act of doing nothing quite boring. I like taking on challenges that fulfill me. And that, to me, is relaxing. So when someone says, oh, you know, have a holiday, just relax. Actually, I would enjoy making more classic retro review videos. I would enjoy staying up late, playing PlayStation 1 games, working on stuff, editing, writing the scripts, recording them, uploading them, making the thumbnails, moving on to the next one. What's my favourite Magic the Gathering deck that I run? Are we talking modern? Are we talking legacy? Are we talking standard? Are we talking commander? Let me know. To relax, you must not exert effort. See, to me, that's boring. I find that really boring. For me, relaxing is spending my time and effort on pursuits that I value, that I find valuable. Once I've woken up from a decent sleep and I've got energy, I want to spend that energy on something that at the end of the day, I will feel good about. That's what I want to do. I would rather relax by streaming, which is a great deal of energy, than sitting on the sofa watching TV. Being bored is also important. Yeah, being bored is. Watching Lord of the Rings is very relaxing. That's true. I love it. People will say to you all the time, oh, just, just relax, oh, just chill. If the only way that you can relax is by completely turning your mind and brain and body off from doing anything, then you're losing a hell of a lot of potential free time. Will I play Guild Wars 2? Eventually, yes, but please understand that I've got people playing Hey Josh, will you play Lost Ark, Elder Scrolls, Elden Ring, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy XIV, RuneScape? Will you play all these things? I physically don't have enough time. My free time, I spend Twitch streaming. This is my free time, right now. My my work time is making YouTube videos. Best EDH commander is Erebus, God of the Dead. Erebus is a good one. Will I play Skyrim? Maybe. Will I play Tibia? Maybe. Relax is only good when you lead the mind thinking by itself. It depends, so. Depends what you want to do. Some people like that, some people don't like that. It's whatever you choose to value, personally. Right, so let's see what you've got, if anything. There's a bit of health there. 18 points of hunger, that's fine. Get some sweet rolls. How much gold have I now got? Have I got enough? I've got, oh, not enough yet for a house. That's true. Will I play Tax Paying Simulator? I love that game. That's my favourite game. I like that if you enter the cheat code Bezos, you don't pay any. That's great. If you call your character Starbucks when you start the game, again, you don't pay any. It's fantastic. I love it a lot. It's just there's so many good cheats in that game. Hi Josh, how are you babe? Thank you for asking. I am good. I am good. Now, so relaxing doesn't necessarily mean low effort, low energy, low involvement. Sometimes it can mean high effort, high energy, but high reward. That's what I enjoy. How am I doing first person mode in Elden Ring? Oh, I see what you've done there. Common mistake. This isn't Elden Ring. This is Lost Ark. Spiffing Brit should make attacks as a perfectly balanced. I guarantee it'd be the kind of thing he would do, and he would love it. He would help us all. Right. Off to Winterhold we go. Let's do this. I like how the main quest of Skyrim takes you all around all of the main holds. So you've got to go to Riften, you've got to go to Markarth, you've got to go to this, you've got to go to that. And in these holds, 
you discover all of the other storylines and quest lines. I like that. That's clever. That's very clever. Interesting take on relaxing. Hadn't considered, but you have good points. Card games such as Magic the Gathering and tabletop battle games such as Warhammer 40k, they are mentally intensive. Like if you want to play Warhammer and you've got to remember all those rules, there's a lot to remember. It's not easy to do. Even playing video games like Dark Souls isn't exactly a super easy game. You need to pay attention. You need to focus. You're putting your energy into it. And people consider these relaxing. Relaxing doesn't mean no energy. It doesn't even mean low effort. It means spending your time in a way that fulfills you. Right. Uh, I need to find an Elder Scroll. Yeah, of course I do, mate. Where's the Elder Scroll? I'm getting old, Josh. I can't play Souls games for more than a few hours. It's mentally draining. It's true, man. It is mentally draining. It really is mentally draining. That's what everyone relaxes. Our brains require constant impulses to stay happy. No one sits around doing literally nothing. People are different, but I personally find the act of doing nothing... I, that stresses me out, weirdly. Because I feel that I'm wasting... Time is one of the few resources that you can't get back. Time is one of the very few extremely finite resources. So if I'm sat there thinking, I'm, I'm just sitting doing nothing, I would happily get... I mean, I've got one of those... Um, you know those like grip trainer strength things that you can just like, it's like a load of springs and you just squeeze them as you go around. I've got those kind of scattered around all over the house. I will pick those up and do that. Because if I'm sitting watching TV and I'm doing that, I feel better than watching TV without doing that. That's just me personally. Because I feel that I'm improving grip strength and that's good to me. If I'm sitting watching TV, I will grab some of the weights downstairs and I'll start curling those. Again, that feels good to me. We've got a, a running machine in the living room. I will walk on the machine while doing that. That makes me feel happy because I feel that I'm kind of stacking my time together and that makes me feel good. I'm happy about that. And then when I go to bed at night time, I'm feeling fulfilled that I've spent my time in a wise way. And that makes me feel happy. Doing... Nothing stresses me out, personally. People say, oh, I'm min-maxing. If you enjoy just zoning out and watching TV, that's fine. It's absolutely fine, man. You do that. It's how you want to do it. Let me just chat with these guys. What about the Dragonborn? Thank you. There we go. Get me the stuff. Get me the stuff. I very much enjoy using my time wisely. To me, that is a relaxing thing to do. I like cooking and baking. Cooking and baking requires you to pay attention. It requires you to focus on the ingredients. It requires you to really know what you are trying to do. It's not a don't pay attention thing. Time for yourself to spend how you wish. That's true. To spend how you wish. As long as you can spend that time in the way that you wish, you're good. You're doing good. Come on, zombies, up you come. Follow me, zombies, because you're blocking in the NPC. Here he comes. Am I considering playing T... What? What is that game? Josh Strife Bakes confirmed. I relax when you hit Rufus. <laughs> oh, classic. Classic. Hey, thank you. You got me the stuff? Ruminations on the Elder Scrolls. Discerning the Transmundane. Ask Urag about the insane book. Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong-sighted blessing of most excellent fabric, 
Holding the fabric over your gills, you would begin to breathe, drink its warp and weft. Through the plant matter fibres imbue your soul, the wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy. Wow, okay. This is a bit of an insane book. I see. Shio Goroth wrote this. This reminds me of the middle bit from Waiting for Godo. Ooh, what's that? Rise and fall of the blades. No, I don't care about you. Hey, dude, the, the book was a little bit weird. What happened with this? Yeah, the ruminations is incomprehensible. Septimus Cygnus, where'd he go? All right, let's pop over and speak to Septimus Cygnus then. Septimus Cygnus. Should we take the book? Yeah, we'll take the book. We've got it with us, just effects of the Elder Scrolls. Is this also Septimus? No, that's a book that actually makes sense. Okay, into the ice fields, speak to Septimus. In MMOs, you kill a wild boar and it drops three coins. Where does the money come from? I would love one day to write a book, a story, about someone getting isekai'd into an MMO, except it's a very Western player and it's a very min-max player, but he's not very good. I think that could be quite funny. Okay, learn the location of the Elder Scrolls straight north from where we are. Can I... Can you jump through there? Is that something you're able to do? <laughs> yeah, boy, that was awesome. Okay, that was really cool. The anime Log Horizon. Pretty much, yeah, the anime, something like that. Something pretty much exactly like Log Horizon. Like, uh... A bibliography. What a good word. He will not talk to anyone. He would kill in sight. When will you show us your three closets of vests? You know what? You laugh, but I do have... I'll put a picture on Discord. I'm pretty sure I have like seven different, almost identical, but very slightly different looking vests. I am 99% sure I've got that. If I would be isekai into a Korean MMO, would I be able to be paid to win? I don't think anyone except kind of like chic Arab millionaires are going to be able to be actually pay to win in those games. Like unless you're coming from, you know, Arab Emirates type of money, unless your dad owns an oil rig, I don't think, I don't think anyone is, what, why am I falling down? I don't think anyone is bringing in that kind of money because that is an insane amount of money to spend. But I am Rob Stark. Well, yes, I've got the money that they paid me for Game of Thrones, obviously. For anyone concerned, I didn't actually play Rob Stark. I am sorry. I've lied to you. I've lied to you all. I hope you can uh, forgive me. Can you, can you swim under the water here? I know it's super cold, but can you swim under the water? I don't want to be in the water too long, because if I am, I die. I expected better of the King in the North. I refuse to believe otherwise. If you want to keep believing that I played Rob Stark, that's fine. I'm not going to take that fantasy away from you. Let's just... Hey, Septimus Cygnus. In we pop Septimus. All fan fictions are now not making any sense. If that's the fan fiction you want to write, I will allow you to write that. Let's just jump down. Sub Septimus. I heard you know about the Elder Scrolls. The ah, the Emperor took them, did they? Ah, right. Where's the scroll? Can you can you help me get one, mate, or not? What do you want? Deep inside the Dwemer. Oh, Black Reach. We've got to get to Black Reach. Okay. Been watching a lot of your YouTube content recently. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I will continue to make them. The next video I'll be working on is... Was it good on the second channel? Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter 1 on the PlayStation 1. That's what we're going to replay. It's going to be a blast from the past. It is going to be nostalgia. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, nostalgia, man. Flipendo. Oh, I remember that spell. It was tables, wasn't it? 
Is that the card game one? It might be. It might be the card game one. I think there was collecting Bertie Bots every flavour beans in there. Right, learn the location of the Elder Scrolls. Okay, map updated. Blank lexicon added. Where do you need me to go? You need me to go to Blackreach, don't you? I see. You need me to go to Blackreach. Discerning the transmundane. He's a mad scholar. He wants me to use some kind of knowledge. Transcribe the lexicon. Now, was there... Where was... Where's this taking me? It says transcribe the lexicon. He's given me a book. And I need to leave the cave to get back somewhere. How do you live in this cave? Like, where do you get food from? I never quite understood that. Where do you get food? Right, the lexicon is... Where are you taking me? Ah, Alftand. Okay. Alftand. The, the lesser known brother of Alfheim. The fantastic, beautiful location. The air is treacherously cold. Right. There is... I'm playing on the survival mode, by the way. Which means if I am too cold, I will die. So, staying warm really matters in this. He lives off positive space energy. Oh, Red Sky, that is a terrible joke. The boars in MMOs get their money from piggy banks. How dare... There's a Tesco on the other side of the ice sheet. Uber Eats amazingly delivers. He's just close enough to Morrowind that he can actually get get Just Eat from them. That's how it works. It's pretty impressive when you look at it. Let's just keep running down here. Oh god, how good is that advert? That did somebody say Just Eat advert? It's brilliant. You know, I'll give him that. It's it's an absolutely brilliant advert. The point of advertising is to get people to remember your product and to talk about it. And that advert did really well. Who remembers? And I'm not even American. But I know this. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. If you haven't heard of that, Google it, mate. You're in for a treat. Do you want to know what head-on actually does? And this is... I've got a lot of respect for horrible marketing. Because even though I hate it, I can respect what it's trying to do. Do you know what head-on actually does? Nothing. It's wax in a stick. It's like one of those PVA glue-style twisty cylinders... But it's just wax. People are like, oh, doesn't it, you know, doesn't it make your headache go away? No. It doesn't do anything. There's no scientific basis for it doing anything at all. Which is why when you watch any of the adverts, it doesn't even claim to do anything. It doesn't say reduces headaches. It doesn't say improves mood. It just says apply directly to the forehead. Why? What's it going to do? Isn't that illegal? No. No, because what's it promising you? It's not promising you anything. It's only illegal if it claims to do something that it doesn't do. But it doesn't claim to do anything. That's the amazing thing. It's managed to sell people nothing and claim nothing. All it's telling you to do is put it on your face. It doesn't say it's going to do anything. It's brilliant. It's a genius marketing campaign. Like, if I would have thought of that, man, I'd be a freaking millionaire. It's the Pet Rock. It, in fact, I watched a YouTube video recently about why the Pet Rock was so successful and why things like that are successful. People often say, oh, this is really dumb, this is really stupid, you know, it doesn't do anything. It's not that it doesn't do anything. It's that what it does is so specific, it's stupid to not buy it. Let me explain why. How many people, how many kids wanted a pet? Lots of them. How many parents wanted to clean up after a pet? That statue over there looks awesome in the distance. 
That looks, in this snowstorm, that looks badass. Yeah, so how many kids wanted a pet? Loads. How many parents wanted to clean up after a pet? Basically none. Thanks, bear. So when this guy came out and said, hey, pet rock. Was this the last time I saved? Are you taking the piss? No. Oh, thank God. Auto. Skyrim from there. Oh. Whew. That would have been bad. Okay, that's fine. We're over here. In fact, to be fair, we are two hours in now. You loaded a quick save. Well, I'll quick save now. Did you beat the game yet? No, we are close now. We are close. But the last time... We're going to go inside so I don't die. People made the pet rock because they wanted to sell a pet without needing to clean up after a pet. That's what it was. That's all it was. These dumb, stupid products, they do actually have a market. It's just weird and small and strange. But for now, ladies and gents, it's been two hours. I'm trying to stream between two and three hours. And the reason for this is I'm putting all the VODs up on YouTube. So if you aren't fully caught up, you can go back and rewatch them. Sea monkeys, exactly the same. Sea monkeys are trying to solve a problem that a few people had. They wanted pets, but they didn't want high you know, difficulties to look after. Pets, that's what it was. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. It's been lovely. I will see you. The reason I only stream for two hours is because I stream very intensely. It's not long, but it's intense. And I feel that's better quality from me to you. I would rather give you a short two hour intense stream than a five or six hour, you know, low energy stream. That wouldn't be fun for me. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you all on Monday for an episode of The Tangent Tavern with Callum Upton. Until then, check out the YouTube channels. We've got Josh Drive Hayes for the MMO stuff and Josh Drive Plays for the retro review. The next retro review is going to be Harry Potter 1 on the PlayStation 1. Thank you for your time. You guys have a great evening and I will see you on Monday. Take care, good night, and God bless.